Hello, everybody. This is another series with Mr. Elazar here, Del Rocio. How's it going? How's it going, everyone? So, uh, I thought I'd post a little bit of my Darkwing Duck animation because I, I showed it to you. Um, I showed it to you, and um, I was showing you my. Um, I'm showing you my Twitter when I when I posted it, and it was just a, a blast from the past, right? Or wow! Looking at this stuff, right? So I, I thought I'd show you um, the research that went into uh, making Darkwing Duck, and I thought I can yeah. open up the QA to you, if, you know, when I did it, how I did it, but. Um, I remember one of your, your first uh, reactions was, yo, man, that's like CalArt stuff, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's, it was really fun to, to when, I, when I saw, when you showed it to me. First of all, I can't believe you had it for a while and you haven't shown it to anybody, really. Um, and when I saw it, I felt like, man, this is why I went into animation. You know, this is why we all go go to animation because I remember watching um, shows like Darkwing Duck, right? Um, and first of all, I love the animation on those back in the day. You know, yeah. like the old, the old like Disney um, um, afternoon. You know, some episodes were a little, you know, a little better than others, but in general, there's just it was cartoons, you know? It's like fun, like um, bouncy animations. Well, you know was, what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about, well, right? It, well, yeah, at the time in the 90s, it was, the, the hype was crazy. It was like mm -hmm. Roger Rabbit, right? Like yeah, Tiny right. Toons. Roger Rabbit, Tiny and, Toons, right. Yeah, and it was like everyone was drawing on paper. And I remember when we did um, DuckTales Remastered, I got the remastered bug on me. And I was like, ah, yeah. I want to remaster yeah. something else. Yeah, and, um, it's hard so, not to, you know. Well, it feels cool to feel like I know a little bit about this stuff. I think I can. Yeah. I want to do something else. What if I had Darkwing right. Duck? You know. Right. Right. And so first things first, it's time to do the research, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So when I'm researching a lot of the show, and this uh, all respects to the guys who animated on the show, a lot of it's mm -hmm. not on model. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, and you know us when we're looking for a model, it has to be on model on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in games. Yeah, it has to be. Now that's subjective, right? Like, yeah. what's on model, what's not? That depends on the lead, right? You mm -hmm. you picked out poses that you felt, hey, these are the models, and you you yourself mm -hmm. set the model up yourself, right? Yeah. And then we would go through a licensor, and they would approve it or whatever. Right. Um, same thing when we were doing Ducktales. I did a series of Scrooges, and through you know team collaboration, we came up with the Ron Scrooge. Well, for me, I but that research stuck with me. Like, what kind of research went into that mm -hmm. stuff? So yeah. then I'm yeah. here to research, like, you know, the characters. So before right. we get into that, why I picked these, I want to show you why I picked them. So I know I wanted to do the Eggman. So let's take a mm -hmm. look at these. Right. So I know I wanted to do these guys. And... Right. Um... But I, I'm looking for like a full body, and I wanted them in their costumes, yeah. right? But yeah. if you see their drawing, you see their uh, the arms, they don't look right. You know what I mean? They're not right. well defined. Again, right. Mm -hmm. All respects to the animators, you guys are all talented. I'm just saying that I'm looking for a model, and I wanted to, you know, find a good screen grab of a model, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I'll let it keep playing so I can show you what I'm looking for. Right. Yeah, and, and you know what I noticed too? A lot of footage that we find on YouTube about um, a lot of these shows that we used to watch. I It boggles my mind how the quality of television was back then compared to now. Yeah. You know, nowadays everything is crisp and clear. And a lot of the young people watching cartoons now, I mean, look at this. It's so fuzzy, right? Yeah. Hey, guys, guess what? This is how we watched television back in those days. Yeah. It was fuzzy like this, you know? I mean, these it's are, not these, like these are high cell, definition yeah, these, for 4,000K, 4K, you know, 4K or anything. 
Yeah, I mean, this is cell shaded stuff, you know, like yeah. it's a, a transparent cell with someone painted it. Well, I don't know. I think at this time they're using computers, but, um, um, but anyway, my point is, is that like I'm I'm searching for a model, right? Mm -hmm. And I want those guys in that costume. Yes. So then, as I'm doing, oh, first of all, look at that launch pad. Hold on, so I can make my point. I will just look how off model he is, right? Like he's growing and shrinking all over the place, but you really see it with launch pad watch. Hold on. I mean, you know what? If nobody notices it, great. You know, these are just things that I know me and Ellis are relate to a lot when we're I know. establishing models, you know? Right. Especially, actually, even when I was a kid. Oh, really? You were able watching, to see it? Like, I'm like, wait, oh, why does that look off? You know, and I understand. TV. Look at yeah, look at look at this yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like now, someone can argue and say that's an in between. I get it, but even they should all be keys. You know? Yeah. Um. Anyway, so then I ran into these stamps, and I'm like, "Yo, man, who did these? These are yeah, I've never to seen me. those before. No, dude, great. I've been looking for the model sheets for these. I'm like, yo, man, this is a stamp." Look, Elzar, it is so appealing to look at, right? Right. Look at that. And I decided that this is going to be my models. My models are going to be based off of this. And if you look at, like, like, if I had to make, like, shape language, look. Look at that. All the way through. All the way through. It is beautifully, beautifully done. Like, everything yes. is just mm -hmm. beautifully done. You know, like, this thing is solid. It's solid. It's a solid drawing. And so I'm like, all right, I found this stamp. Is there more? Right? Mm -hmm. There is. Look at these. It's got to be. Look, I found this. Then I'm like, yes! That's exactly what I'm looking for. Wait, which one is it? It's this guy here, the little egg, egg man. Oh, um, we can see the megavolt still. Oh. Right? Oh, at least for my side. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. No, no, no. Let me present again then. Uh, where are we at? Can you see this now? Oh yeah, now I can see it. Yeah, look Great. at these models. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's it oh, right there. Oh, see, now you can see it crisp and clear. By the way, they look like, and that's right? a rare thing you get something that clear. This pose is game yeah. freaking ready. You know what I mean? Right. That's my opinion, totally. right? Because mm -hmm. usually we'll get stuff like maybe like that guy, that bear. And we'll have right. to put him in an idle post. But that thing yes. is ready right. for games, yeah. bro. Right. So even Goot Goot Root, I mean I mean Bush sorry, Goot Root, Bush Root. <laughs> Bush Root, I mean, nah, maybe a little bit more three quarters, but he's definitely ready too. Anyway, it, even that as a model, I enjoy looking at it. That's pretty good. Yeah. His shape language is done well. Like his the the drawings for this guy, this guy, and Megavolt are my favorite. These are they're okay. Sorry, guys, I don't mean, you guys are going to see, well, you're going to see inside of me and Elazar that is very picky. <laughs> All yeah. right, we actually spoke about this. Elazar was right. like, go, tell them what you were saying about me. Like, Oh, about what? Which you were just, you were just, you were just saying like, you noticed that stuff too, dude? And I was like, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I felt like I had to. You know why? This is the, I think, the difference between some, um, because... We had to animate on paper. And when you animate on paper, your drawings need to be of one character doing a walk cycle or like a take or an idle. It has to be perfect. Yeah. Because you have to draw every single frame. You know, okay, if it, uh, you know, we were working with 24 frames per second, let's say we just did, did it on twos, so it would be 12 frames. 12 drawings, right? That's still 12 drawings that you need to do, right? And um, as, and I think both of us eventually being leads, we're like, we're, we have to be nitpicky about the quality, you know? And we care about the quality. I mean, I care about my job. Yeah, and it's you know? weird, right? Because it almost comes across like, hey, man, you know, like, like, I felt like fans on the Super Mario show were a little defensive and I would call something out to be off-model. But hey, uh -huh. 
I'm sorry. That's actually like my job though as a lead. Yeah. To yeah. call out my crew and say, that's not on model. <laughs> Even outsourcing, when we would outsource, like that's not on model either. We'd go over the drawings so we can put it on model. Wow. Like that was your job and that was my job. Yeah. To it's say funny. it's right. off model. Right. And then when people yeah. were like, well, put it on model. Sure. Give it to me. I'll put it on model. Yeah. Yeah. Give right. it to me. I'll put it on model. Yeah. That's no problem. But you know, in the end of the day, every frame has to look on freaking model. Right. And and uh, but it's also an eye. Like you have to have the eye, in my opinion, and the judgment right. to say, right, that's the model. Hey man, hey then then you're the, the those people who commented on that, they're gonna love me. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know, I know. Because we you called, know why we called we called you Eagle Eye because you were like, oh. <laughs> like, and this is a compliment. When I say you're a nitpick, that's a compliment. Yeah, you know? I I nitpick. You know why? Um, the thing is. When when you're dealing with 2D animation, okay, um, the slightest like misplaced line can communicate many different things, and um, I, I was very nitpicky when it comes to like each line because it could start jittering, it could start wobbling, just because the line placement was incorrect, you know, and um, whenever. Yeah, and I, I I had to make sure that those were fixed and those were you know fixed well because you know what it's on me as the lead, but yeah. you know what why why some of those commenters would love me even more is the fact that I actually thought this way even before I went to CalArts. Dude, me too. Like when has, I was a kid. Yeah, when it, I was a kid and yeah. I was watching um cartoons, right? Like you know when I first remembered when I saw the the Ducktales movie. Did you see that the movie? The, no, I didn't. Oh, bro. Yeah, the treasure, the lost map or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. All right. off model. The trailer was off model. I knew when yeah. I was a kid looking at it, like, hey, yeah. what is going on? Here? Yeah. Um, yeah. The show was more on model than that movie. Right. Again, uh, and respects to the guys. Respect, I'm sorry. Yeah, respect. Because I know I get it. I get but it. I have sh- deadlines. I can show you, know? you the model sheet. Yeah. I could show you the exactly. drawing, and it's know, not on yeah. model. It, right. and, and it almost looks like I'm being vicious, but if you think about what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. No, no, hold on. That's why we forward rocks. That's why they're uh-huh. quality rocks because right. we QA the heck out of things. Right. And it but has see, to be 100%. Yeah. Right. And that that's why um, I think that's why we became animators because we cared so much. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not like um, it would have been great to just enjoy the show. Right. <laughs> right. As a kid, you know, but I don't know. I just happen to be the type of person when I see something. Wait, that that looks off. That the dude, it the, hurts my you know, eyes like, to see that drawing. It does, yeah. you know, and and I'm sorry if I'm like that, and other people don't see it, but it is what it is, and and I guess that's why I'm an animator, you know. Um, interestingly enough, um, we do we do still use those skills in 3D. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, we do. Um, but man, when it comes to 2D, man, uh, you're you're talking about lines, you know. And if you've never done a high quality 2D animation, then you don't know what it's like to have to do that type of work. So with that you being know? said, I'd like to say this. I actually collected high quality Darkwing Duck animations. Mm. And I know for a fact there were not, I don't want to say this. Uh, should I say it? <laughs> Hey man, I don't know. We're professionals here. I mean, <laughs> okay. I'll I'll hold on. I'll quote it along with the train station on what he said. Okay. All right, how's this? Yeah, Andrea Stasia was working on Runaway Brain. You remember the movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With with Mickey Mouse, Runaway Brain. Mm-hmm. Right. And he said this about the French animators. Okay. They did not need handholding. They were mm-hmm. all amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With that being said, I have mm-hmm. a gut feeling this was animated by the French studio. I see. That's my I gut see. feeling. Yeah, not because Florida. There's, because there's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. It's a huge difference, and I will show it yeah. to you. All right, well, we'll get to that. But this right. happened during my research. Um, I, I think I think a lot about that way when it comes to anime, like Japanese anime, like old the old Japanese anime. Yeah, is very like it's perfect like 
like the, it, everything is a model yeah, you know yeah like, like um, so like like i'm looking at this right here like this um this one right here like great drawings like, oh it has nice shape language great all drawings. Over the place. yeah and i'm happy to say shape language because i'm, I'm not making that up now like frank Frazetta went off the public i mean that interview frank Frazetta it's a design see oh yeah it makes me so much happier just to say confidently anyway right so that's good shape language um okay i'm gonna show you so we saw here i'll just show you one more time these things right mm -hmm. it's a it's a little it's a little it's good right it's good but um i found some really nice drawings from the friend i think so i don't know mm -hmm. but you see how there's no follow-through on his you know all of that and i get it it's tv show stuff i get yeah, it yeah but TV i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some research ah research bro are you ready to be blown away all right <laughs> all right i think so i'm blowing it up here but okay just so you see look at that guy right yeah okay right so i did some studying for his animation right but even if you look at his poses all right this is not the french studio but then i'll show you these watch these i actually found it in high definition i think it's this one nope Nope. Nope. Bear with me. I mean, you have to understand, um, uh, YouTube people, that if just because something is off model doesn't mean that I don't love the show. Yeah, yeah, I love I mean, this show. To this yeah. day, to this day, I watch all episodes of He Man and She Ra. Oh, and bro, I'm here telling it is. you, here they are not the. the the best animated shows back in the, from, from the 80s. You look, know what I mean? Look, dude, I'm actually going to do a stop frame of this in quick time. That's how good this is. So you think the French animated this? Is that what you're saying? Dude, there's so much stuff in here that I'm like, I only see it in the French studio. Like when I saw Runaway Brain, I studied every freaking frame, man. And what I saw there, I'm seeing here. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. But let me show it to you, okay? Do you... I wish... Can I you see, see it? Can you see it? Uh-huh, I can see it. Okay, watch. There you go. Look at those drawings, oh, man! Yes, yes, yes. Look yes. at those drawings! I mean, absolutely. Drawings. It's beautiful. Come on, it dude. Absolutely beautiful. You know what wow. I'm saying already? Yes, I know what you're saying. Yeah, and look, you know what? I you actually could... might um, look. Uh, say something... <laughs> I know, like everyone's like, you talking about? You know what I'm talking I, about? I know man. what I'm. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Those are beautiful drawings. Yeah, man. That is a beautiful keyed drawing. That's a look at those legs. Look at the, look at how his foot. Beautiful, like the, beautiful. Like how, yeah, just like how his foot, um, like and his, yeah. you know, the ball. Well, well, it, it gets great. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, dude, oh, look at that. God. Look at that frame. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so see, like guys. Like I said, like I said, this is some episodes are better than some the others. I, okay, and I will tell you this: I haven't seen one that can match this one. This is the pilot. Oh, oh it's the pilot. It's the pilot, man. So they put money in it. But the thing is, dude, like, I, first of all, just look at the carefulness that they put on the little orange here on the top, so you can see the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, the silhouette is clear. Bro, that is a contact pose. That that is a Disney contact pose. You know what I mean? That's like classic I know what you mean. 90s I know contact what you mean. pose, bro. Actually, you know what? The Richard I Williams book actually... didn't even come out before this. Right. Actually, I am on Disney Plus right now. Yeah. Um, I am looking up that episode. Hold on, okay? I can tell you who which studio did it. So watch because this. Because it depends on which studio does... The um, the episode. Look at that drawing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I have a theory, and I'm not gonna say it because okay. I don't think it's the um the French who did it because the French, the French studio was developed a little later than Darkwing, I think. Now um, this. So uh, the, now which this one the, was it? No, this is the thing. I want to make sure the fans know. I'm a fan of Darkwing Duck. You clearly hear what I'm saying. Like I love the yeah, show. Yeah. But I'm sorry. This here is some top quality animation. 
yes. top quality drawing. Right. For, and I wish easy every single episode was done this way. Yes, yes. And I bet you right now, whoever worked on Darkwing Duck animation is knows what we're talking about, okay? And also wish the same. But the thing is, you know, um, production schedules, um, you know, are... Bro. You know, production schedules are, are hard. You know, you have to get stuff done. Now, which episode is this again? Tim? No, this is in the pilot. This is the pilot. This, this is the commercial. The oh, they don't have... No. They don't have the pilot no. on... No, I found this, dude. On, randomly. On, uh, dang it. It's, did, did it say, like, a title? No, it's just a, the Dark Me Duck pilot. It's on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it's not on... No. So look, not here. look at look at look at these faces, man. Look oh, at that face great. on the right. You know why I'm telling you? Because I saw the movie. Um, you know the Goofy movie, the one where yes. he plans a trip and they see a yeti. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. These look like those drawings, man. Yes, yes. And that's from the Spanish and you know the French studio, bro. Oh, it was the French studio. Yes. Goofy, the Goofy movie was. Yes. Check no it out. Way. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go to um Look at look at look at this drawing. Look, look. Oh yeah. Look at this fool's beak on the left. Right. And then here we go. Like they're gonna that, do, that they're gonna little do twist on his yeah. on his chin. Look at look at look at look at his face. Oh, that's great. That's squash is just... That is drawing, bro. Yeah, that is that is You guys wanna learn to draw? We all want it. That's what we all want to do. Trace! All these drawings, if you guys want a good education, get these frames, trace it. You will learn drawing of squash and stretch. That right there is beautiful. There's more, there's more. Let's watch more. That's a nice little blur. This is blur. the difference between um, Goofy Movie 1 and Goofy Movie 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Sergio, I think Sergio Pablo's son uh, designed the Yeti. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, I could be wrong. See, this is all in the pilot, and watch this. Oh, yeah, just just look at these I'm, poses. I'm on um I'm on Disney Plus right now, looking at credits for a Goofy movie. So look, look at look at these drawings, dog. Look, look at yeah. Look at yeah. from this frame to this frame, and then he hits a beautiful pose, and then look, he takes out his gun, son. Wow, wow, that's cartoons right there. You see those blurs? Yeah. It reminds me of um. It actually reminds me a lot of. Warner Brothers um, Chuck Jones animation. The kind of um, squash and stretch and like um, Look, caricature that, that they do. That's model sheet fucking that's drawing right there. Yes, yes it is. Compared to the last yes, ones I showed Look you. Look at the hands. Look dude, at the hands. Dude. It looks like an illustration. It looks yeah. like it's something out of a comic book. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like something That's a beautiful dark green dot. So whoever did this cared a lot about that drawing. Whoever did this is as nitpicky as me and Els are. <laughs> oh, right, right. Look, and his face changed to that. Okay. It's beautiful. So I'm looking at um There's uh, the Burbank. Dude. For Goofy movie, there's the Burbank. There's a the Burbank team. This is with the Yeti, right? Yeah, with the Yeti. Uh, Canada, Phoenix Animation. So there's a Canada team. Let's see who else? Oh my gosh! Look at that. Those eyes. Oh, <laughs> I know. Great, look at look at from this frame to this frame. Yeah. See, that's what that's. I wish that it was like that every episode. It's the same way with like Batman, the um, the the animated series. Um, there's some episodes that are really spot on great, and there's some that are yeah. Even these, you know, even these drawings with the tail feathers. Look how beautifully they're drawn. This right. is just a really nice drawing. I know we're looking right. at rear end and all, but it's it's yeah. you can tell when something's drawn. You can tell. Well. You can tell. Like for example, the lines on the right of that tail. There's a variation in it, Dude. and there's also the spacing of of each line is is um, is varied. You know. Those are the kind of um, things that an illustrator does. Look at this, Elzar. Look at his foot space in one way and this foot space in the other. <laughs> that's a nice, beautiful little touch, right? Yeah, right. That's that's just beautiful. And I wish I could be like that for the whole show, but unfortunately, guys, you know, 
That's what it is. Yeah. The oh. other company is Pixie Box Digital Ink and Paint. So that's the Ink and Paint team. I wonder, but you know, some of these guys weren't credited too. You know that, right? So yeah. if you ever look at the credits okay. for Runaway Brain, it only says Animation Andrea Stasia. Oh. Yeah, and 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 dude, Andrea Stasia wasn't the only one working on that film. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Hmm. So I don't know what's the deal, but check it. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Wow, this is a find. I it's not even on Disney Plus. Bro. The, this isn't on on Disney Plus at all. Look at that. Uh, this this is a lot of care. Oh yeah. It's a lot at, of care. Look at that pose. That. All right. And then that dude's face is beautiful. Look at this drawing. Even these drawings from uh, like from their back view is really nice. And then look, they do a take. And you're going to see their faces. <laughs> Nice. That's what I mean. It's these drawings yeah. that look a lot right. like the, like the, what, in my opinion, what the French studio was doing. My opinion. Right. My opinion. Right. That's awesome. I would love it if somebody was watching this. They had a brother or an uncle, I don't know, that was an animator distance and corrected me. Please yeah. correct me. Yeah. In fact, reach out to me. Let's talk. I would love yeah. to have a conversation about the way right. this stuff was made. Right. But you know, I would have loved to have been a fly in the wall when these were animated down. Right, man, same, same. Well, this is beautiful cartoon animation. I wonder if these feature guys were Look, man. That's a good drawing too. Yeah. Right. Um, you can tell that from it they used a lot of this particular episode um in the um intro. Yeah, like right here. This is the intro from the episode, from right here. Yeah. Look at those hands. Look at the knuckles. Yeah. Talk of the shadows, dark going on tonight. <laughs> look, it's at so great. Look, look at that face. Look at his mouth. Yeah, right. The angle, man. These are these are. And you know those drums. lines on his foot. Is there for a reason? Yeah, it's yeah. Not there. yeah, yeah. It's not just there to just put lines on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like it's nubby. You know, like. Yeah. No, that's really nice. I, I would love to have seen these drops and watch the tie downs. Yeah. No, I, I'm even surprised I even got it this high quality too. I was all over the internet trying to find like a, a good high quality one. Mm-hmm. Again, another model sheet worthy of a drawing. Ah, especially that face right there. That face is great. All right, let's see if there's any more. I think from this point on, it's the it's the trailer. Cool. Yeah. Now the drawings changed. <laughs> uh. You can tell from that guy's face alone, even the judge and yeah. dark food, but watch, watch, watch. Yeah. Look at that guy's face, and I'll show you the... Uh, oh, that's so mean of us, dude. But, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, w I, w I, would, I was thinking this way as a kid. Yeah, I'm know? sorry, man. Just... I was thinking this way as a kid, you know, when I was watching, you know, even He-Man and She-Ra. You know, like, I was watching those shows, and I was thinking to myself, wow, the animation's really, not, yeah. you know, could be better. You know, but you know that doesn't mean that I don't love these shows. I still watch. I still watch these shows. You know, all right. So, day. so look at the proportions and all that stuff. I mean, just you can tell the strong, strong wow. And then watch. You look at these. Oh, well, let's just grab that one. Let's grab that one. Even if you grab that one, but even if you see his the way they drew his hands, man, they're just. They're really pretty, but I mean, watch. And then. Yeah, that one's a great drawing right there. Yeah. 
something changed right there, man. Yeah. There was a morph to something, but it don't look like this anymore, man. There's something just a little different. Just the way it's mm -hmm. structured. Um, right. That's, you know, hey, that's just my eye. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And then Darkwing, yeah, that still don't look the same either. No, it, these legs feel... Yeah. I think what it is is that um, there yeah. is a certain amount of... You know, you have to hit deadlines and... <laughs> yeah, look, his, his, you know? his torso's not moving and it's just his head. Again, I understand. I'm just saying Yeah. that uh, I've seen some good stuff. It yeah. is possible. Yeah. Let me see. What is this going on? I feel like it's like a bait and switch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be straight up. It's like a bait and switch. It's like, hey, let's... Here's this, you know, really great thing. You know, and you watch the intro, and then, you know, then they do all of these episodes, and, you know, they actually, um, apparently they did that in um, The Legend of Korra. There was, like, a point where they, um, I, you know, the, the first two seasons was really great, but then there was, like, a particular season I actually had to stop watching because the the animation quality just went down, and I think the fans like said something about it, and then they went back to the old older studio. You know, it's like, um, you know, people care. People care about these things. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, so that that was my. Uh... <laughs> I just wanted to share uh, my process. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted Our to process share. of nitpicking, right? <laughs> I mean, the way we are, right? I mean, I, yeah. You know, it's just it. Like, I think you know, whenever you're gonna do something in this nature, mm -hmm. you gotta understand. When I did it, I just didn't do it in a way where like I'm gonna make it mine. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I researched to give the fans the best. Uh huh. That's why I did yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and I just didn't take anything. Right. I think I owe the fans more than that. Right. You know, and Disney, right? right? Yeah. Because uh, I take yeah. that stuff very seriously. The property, right? Yeah. yeah. And so what I'm going to do is do the research. I'm going to exactly. research it. All of it. I'm exactly. going to find some stuff. And guess what? In my opinion, I found a treasure trove of, of beautiful work. Yeah. That I, yeah. If, if I had the opportunity to make the game, it'd be based off of that segment. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Everything. Yeah. We would study it, all the drawings would right. look like that. Right. And that's how we roll. Right, exactly. Cause we owe it to the you know, we owe it to the fans, but also we owe it to <laughs> the people we're working for. You know, I mean, you know, we were you know, I've worked in, in a Barbie um, you know, product, uh a, an, a Warner Brothers product with Batman, Raven the Bold, um, you know, Blood Rain. It's like we owe it to to whoever we're working for to make sure that we're presenting their property the best way possible yeah man you know, you know and, and it's like why would we want to do anything worse than that yeah and yeah of course we have to consider we have to consider um you know tight tight deadlines and all that stuff and we do it's not like we don't but there's ways around that and you know you just have to you just have to care about it yeah, no, I, I agree. And, you know, I'm glad that we're not butting heads here, you know, where you're telling me, I don't think so, man. Like, I butted heads with some with some people, and they're like, hey, man, you're too into it. You should be too into it. You should be <laughs> man, too into it. I was a kid, and you I'm should, watching these, you, you know? You should take like... it very seriously, because, uh, you know, if we make a video game, and we're going to do a bunch of drawings, we better base it off the best we've ever seen, you know? And... Um, that's what I think. I want to show you more models you touched because there's a few more I want to show you on some other research. And it, it, it makes me oh, happy wow. looking at some of these lines. Look at it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I think I follow the guy who who designed Darkwing Duck. Okay. What? Um, on Instagram. But Look I at forgot these. his name. Look at that. Yeah, these are such great drawings, man. Yeah. I actually used... I actually used Darkwing Duck um, model sheets to give me inspiration when we were working on DuckTales uh, oh. Remastered. Because um, 
not that I was looking at um, like the model. I was looking at how they were drawn. How, whoever did these these drawings, I was I was looking on like the quality because I loved the model sheets for um, Darkwing Duck. Like you know, they have obviously Drake and Darkwing Duck, right? But also Webby and not Webby, <laughs> or not Webby. Um, what was her name? Yeah, Webby Gill um, and Launchpad and. Right. Launch pad, not web. It's not for Webby Gale and launch pad in our game. You know, um, uh, Drake's daughter's name is different. Oh, I her name. I, oh okay. I thought it was Web, Gale. Webby Gale is from from. School. Oh, dude, we're so old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, yeah. it's not Webby Gale at all, bro. Right. Oh, I lost my mind. Uh, it's hold on. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. It's uh. Goslin. Goslin, yeah, Goslin. Um, <laughs> but anyway, oh I, I was God. looking at, I was looking at um, Darkwing Duck um, model sheets, um, while I was while we were doing animations for um, for for Ducktales remastered, because of just how like the quality of of drawing that these are yeah. is amazing uh, what is the guy's name dude if you find him on instagram ping him to me man. yeah I, I uh, i'll send it him. to you because i follow the guy on instagram what and the I just hell? Forgot. what's he doing now oh i don't know i haven't been on instagram in a long time oh actually you know what i actually followed the the guy the creator yeah 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 um he still draws well man yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i forgot his name he draws great. He's a great designer, man. Tad Stones. Tad Stone. Tad Stone. Tad Stones, Tad Stone. man. And he still draws a lot of Darkwing stuff. And, um, yeah. Really, really, really great, man. Let's see. Tad Stone. Instagram. He's, he's really good. Great, great, great artist. You know? Love, love, love this stuff. I wonder if he actually animated, um, you know, that first um, pilot. Because, man. Yeah, these drawings look a little different. Hold on, let me see what's going on. Okay, that, that, you can I, tell, I, like, I his... see some stuff right there. I see some life, you know? Like... Yeah. I think... The... I think the the thing that I like about that I like about his art is that um, there's a lot of thick and thin, thick yeah. and thin. You know, it's very designy. He's the one you who know, created like, the Darkwing Duck. Yeah. Yeah. He might have even worked on Chip and Dale's. Dude, he has such old school, like beautiful, foundational Disney, Disney freaking drawing. You know, right? Drawing. You know, like thick and thin lines, design, um, very cartoony, you know. Tad Stone. What Tad a name. Stone. Let me just look I at dare that. say he might have, I wonder, um, let me see, hold on, okay. I was going to say, oh did my he design God, look at that. Magica? Look at these designs. These are freaking the 90s, man. <laughs> Oh, that's so oh, funny. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally 90s. Oh, bro. Oh, that's These great. Are hilariously cool. Those eyes are cool. Yeah. I'm sorry, but, you know, maybe uh, I'm just biased, but there's a difference between the... I'm just saying it. The drawings done today than the drawings done in paper, you know, and... It's true. Gone I mean, over I, with it brush, happens to man. me. It happens to me, man. Whenever I draw on paper, it's very different than when I draw on on my iPod, my iPad. It's very different. Well, that's why I still draw on paper, you know? man. I still draw on paper. Yeah. I don't. I don't go all digital. I still draw on paper. I have to. I'm mm. faster at it. My drawings there's a, are better. There's a, a life that happens to it, and I challenge any person that's watching this right now. Try doing some some drawings on paper. Of the of a character or something, and do the same the same thing on on their iPad, and feel the difference and maybe see the difference. You know, um, 
There's definitely something about it. I think it's because on paper, yeah, sure, you have an eraser, but there's less intent on doing control Z. Yeah. You know, uh, on undoing something. You know, on on a digital, it's it's so easy to 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 just control Z everything. You know, um, and that's why I when when I when I was uh, younger in high school uh, in Doodle. I would always be doodling with um, a pen, like a big pen, you know, or some some crazy cheap thing like that on on notebook paper. And it actually makes you feel like when you're drawing, you you're set whatever you draw is set in stone. You can't change it, you know. Um, and there's a different way of like, um, it's like a different mentality when you're when you're drawing like that, you know. Like if if you've ever seen um, Japanese brush art, you know, like ink brush art, there's a there's a like um, you know, like they would draw either characters or maybe some figures or something, but they use ink, and then they use like brush, right? There's yeah. like um, they practice that so many times, so that whenever they actually start making a piece. That's it. There's no erasing, and it's beautiful, you know, for the ones who do it beautifully, you know. Um, yeah. You know what? Oh, by the way, I just want to say thank you to all the YouTube uh, subscribers and anyone who's watching. I appreciate it. I'll tell you why. Uh, I've been getting emails back from YouTube land, and um, they're encouraging me to do more. So a lot of people are actually starting to like this stuff, which I'm surprised. Um, I appreciate people who like to listen on and find this helpful. Um, I know, I, I, I don't know. I, uh, I always think about like myself when I was a kid and it'd be cool if I got to hear dudes talk or a different perspective. So I, that's all I'm doing is offering another perspective. But in this case, um, with, with, with what we're doing here, I, I thought it'd be insightful to hear Elazar's opinion and my opinion on something like this. You know, it's not like I showed him this stuff first. I thought I'd just throw him in there. And <laughs> it's it's neat, actually, because, like, in my career, I've always been pegged as too picky. Mm. And to admit, Elazar is like, okay, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, we got to be picky, right? And so whoever said that to you haven't met me yet. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and, and yeah, I believe in high standards. Like, so high, when you think about what we're saying, nor do me and Elijah say we think we're better than they are. Not at all. Mm -hmm. We actually want to learn from them. <laughs> we're yeah. like, we have our humble hats. We know when someone's great. Can we learn? Yeah. Can we learn? Can can we get some of that? Whatever that right. is. Like, right. Let's do it. You know? you know, we always want to be able to do the best, right? You know, and even when we were kids, you know, that's why we wanted, I wanted to be an animator I, that's why i wanted to be an artist because i wanted to do really well you know i don't want to just do something and do it poorly <laughs> you know i mean there's something in within any human that they always want to be better than what they are you know yeah i mean it's weird i you know I'm going to touch up on a couple topics here, like cancel culture. Like, I feel like mm. cancel culture, you can't say anything, and then people will, like, get you, mm -hmm. cancel you, right? Yeah. But, you know, you, you that, that that's scary energy, you know? But then you get, like, never mind, forget it. I was going to tie it in, but I don't want to tie it in. My point is, is this. Um, we're not trying to rag on anyone. We're not. Yeah, we're really not, um, and, it, and it can come across as that, and I get it, but that's not what we're doing. We're just uh, trying to—I sh don't know—give <laughs> you a different. Ah, yeah, this is how we roll. All right, <laughs> this is how we roll. This is this is our standards, and we'll always aim for the highest. And if you ever, like hypothetically, you ever gave us a project, we would rock it a hundred percent to its highest freaking. Uh, quality bar and get it done on time <laughs> on time on time on time you know. yeah and we would do this level of research 
and we would give a damn. We would care. We, we would, would care about dude, it. Dude, we would care. <laughs> I have stuff from like La La Loopsy, man. Yeah. Door of the Explorer. And I gave a damn then too. <laughs> right. You know, it's, it's crazy because uh, that's all I, all, it's all, 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 I, all I ask of people sometimes, you know, just care. You can you tell know, in the drawing. You can tell. You can tell if, you know, I mean. Yeah, it's in the line. In the line, you can see if someone cared or they didn't or they got just massive talent. You can see that. The lines I saw on the Dark and Duck stuff. And I'm not, I'm not even ragging on whoever drew it. I'll be straight up. I am actually even talking all the way up to whoever is producing it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I said it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm saying it. Hell's That's on me. All right? <laughs> That's on me. No, uh, it's true. Because if the people who actually are, because you know what, I understand what it's like being in, in production. You yeah. know, if there's person, um, there's people up there that's saying that um, we want we want this this amount of work, right? This amount of work, and we want want it done by. A small amount of time um it's it's hard for a person an artist or anyone in you know in production who's who's doing the work to get it to the highest quality bar you know and i'm saying this because you know we have to give the benefit of the doubt of the people who are actually drawing this and who are actually animating these and no, who are no, also no. you know that, all that, no stuff. that's a valid point i mean i would argue this uh, i would argue that and I'm being honest when I say this, and I know the same for you. I can speak for you. You can give me anybody. You can give me those guys. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Give me school students. It doesn't matter. You're going to get mm -hmm. the same quality out. I'll make sure of it. It'll yeah. come out great with the right. type of leadership. However, that implies we have time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if we got time, we can give you that quality. If we got no time, mm -hmm. it's yeah. going to have to look the way it looks. It all falls down to that little triangle, right? Yeah, so you know what? Let me take back a lot of things that I say. Um, well, actually, I didn't really say anything. I'm just saying, hey, these drawings are different from that drawing. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Right. Um, is, am I saying they lack talent? I'm not saying that. Not at all. Nor mm -hmm. did I say that. But from this conversation, that's really what it means. Maybe they didn't have enough time. I'm sure they're yeah. talented. I'm sure they did the best right. they could with the time they had. Right. Right. But whoever did that that's pilot right. in the beginning... They cared <laughs> from, you know, from, from all aspects. And I, and again, that's what I'm saying is that um, I'm not just talking about like the people who are doing the, the work, but the people who are, you know, providing the work, you know, it's like, you have to care too. And you know what, as an audience member, let me tell you as a child, watch, who watch those shows, guess what? I cared. I cared and I saw what it was was not cared for and there are times when I just stopped watching because because I can see that whoever was making it didn't care. Yeah, you and know that's what? my point. Yeah, let me tell you, there there I feel like that about one specific television show. Mm, mm -hmm. The Thundercats intro is the some of the best drawing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Period. And some of the best animation I've ever seen. Period. Yeah. And some of yeah. the best poses I've ever seen, period. And effects, mm -hmm. and storyboards, and angles, period. Now, the show sucked. Like, the <laughs> art was horrendous. Yeah. For the Undercats. Um, right? Yeah, there's a lot you, of... You know what was good? Remember the, the gummy bears? The Gummy Bears was great. Dude, that had some good freaking television, freaking animation, man. You know what's another one? Um, The Wuzzles. Whoa. You guys, check out The Wuzzles, man. Check it out right now. It's the probably the same people that made the Darkwing intro, in my opinion. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But The Wuzzles show animation is one of the most amazing animation that I have seen during that time period. And it obviously doesn't get enough attention, but as far as animation is concerned, you know, it's one of the best in my opinion. Oh yeah, they have a lot of 
Disney stuff going on over here, bro. It's Disney, you know, like like, uh, like, uh, like stuff. some of the stuff is a little funky, but if you look at the um, design, look at that. Yeah. What the freak? It's um, it's I believe it's it was animated in Japan. Was it? The the production was was handled in Japan, and man, everything was on model, you know, and like the the poses were charming, you know. Yo, bro, what the hell were we watching back in those days? Dude, no, if what you watch an episode, it's even stuff? better. Oh my um, god, that's some scary the, stuff. If you watch, hey, are you, you, watch are you seeing what's on my on my I, TV? I am seeing that. Are yeah. you seeing this? Yeah. What? If the you heck? yeah, if you oh. actually watch an episode of the Wuzzles, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's actually even better than the intro. I bet. Look, it's I, actually better than the intro. I, I researched gummy bears. Yeah, that that's a. This is like always on model. Yeah, I was looking at these. Um... Yeah, I wonder if this is the same crew who did um, Ducktales. Ducktales, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Nineties. Beautiful backgrounds too. You know, oh. I know we talk about animation all the time, but man, you know the backgrounds on on. Um, gummy bears were top notch, you know. Let's look at some Thundercats. Let's see what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at the stars, man. Oh. Yeah, bro. Looks like he had some major Botox. Um. <laughs> 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 love the Thundercats show though I want to say no I love it it's yeah. just they didn't have enough time yeah for the supervisor to go over that stuff hey we being mean no right also I don't know man I mean this is just I don't know this is the stuff that we look at I mean I, as a professional you you know these are the things that I I think about uh, as a as an audience member, this is the stuff that I think about. I'll be honest with you. I, I, think I want. I, I, yeah, if you guys want to know what's in my head, I, I just said it. He looks like he has Botox. I'm sorry, but yeah, you know, like how would I do it? That's the question, right? Yeah, dude, I'll, give me the model sheet. <laughs> I'll right. do some drawings. Hey, Lazar, you want to take a look at this? Peer peer check me, and he'll go mm -hmm. through that thing, make sure it's on point, and it'll yeah. be legit. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, you know, we have to consider the fact that they had very little time to produce these things, and they actually drew frame by frame. And it's and it's not like it's um, feature animation, right? But if somebody did feature animation, and there's bad quality in feature animation, ooh, that that is bad. <laughs> and and I'm not gonna that I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go over because yeah yeah we're not we're not gonna talk about yeah, that I'm not gonna talk about that but, <laughs> but uh because I have my opinions about that yeah 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 but hey uh fans out there in YouTube land on the comments go ahead and type shows you want us to research I think about that just put like hey. Well, how would you guys research and develop this cartoon show? I'll do it live. We'll look at it with Elazar, see some stuff, pinpoint some stuff, and be like, we would do it like this, this, and that. Let us know. I think it would be interesting to see. I mean, if you guys want to see what it goes into. but that's That would be my take. That's what I did to do Darkwing Duck. I picked the right Darkwing Duck head. I picked the right Eggman. And I just said, hey, let me make something. And I studied their movements, and I, that's, that's how I roll. Cool. All right, guys. I'll let you guys go. All Thanks, right. Elzar, for being Thanks a for part of this. Me. Yeah, dude. Always. Yeah, you know it. I appreciate it.